you know, I, you know they may be the best 13 seed in the event. Um, they're really well coached. Uh, they have a disciplined style of basketball that they play. They have players who have not only played in this event, right? And we don't, but they have guys who've won in this event. And, you know, that experience is certainly something to take into consideration as we prepare. They've also played, they play really good competition in their non-conference, you know, to, to get themselves in position in case they have some stumbles in league play. Um, they beat South Carolina this year. Uh, they played TCU very closely. Um, they, they played in this event a couple of years ago and beat Mississippi State. So I have a, the utmost respect for their program, and I know we're going to have to to really focus on on having a good game plan and preparing well to give ourselves a chance to move on. Your Coach McKay and I spent a little bit of time this summer um, just kind of communicating, but I've always had a lot of respect for the way he was running this program. Uh, he obviously um, – you know, gets really good guys who buy in, who usually stick around for four years, and I'm sure he's having a great impact on their lives. Uh, I also know that he knows quite a bit about basketball. He's been around some other really good minds. Tony Bennett, you know, was probably the first one that people will reference. Um, he knows a little bit about players. Before Seth Curry showed up on Duke's campus, he played for Richard McKay at Liberty for a year first, and so you know he recruits well, and and he's um, he's going to have a team that we're going to have to uh, you know work really hard to beat. Yeah, it's, um, you know, Richie worked with Coach Bennett um, for quite some time, actually on two different occasions. I think he left Virginia to go to Liberty and went back and then left again to go back. And so it's, uh, it's a unique deal. They, they play very similar. Now, they don't have the depth of size that Virginia usually has to compete in the ACC, but, you know, they've dominated – the leagues that they've been in playing that way for quite some time, both in their time in the Big South and now in their time in the A-Sun, they've, they've run through that league. I mean, last year, I think they won like their first 20 games or something like that. And so they're used to winning. Uh, they have a coach that's used to winning. Uh, and, and our guys need to understand how how seriously our preparation needs to be for, for trying to give ourselves a chance to win. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.